What's up, everybody? Welcome to Vibe Divine. I'm Amira. Thank you for sharing your energy with me. If you hear some noise, it's my newborn. She's three months. But I wanted to talk to you guys today a little bit about <laughs> letting go of toxic energy and not feeling bad about it. You know, do not feel bad about having to let people go. I know it's hard because, you know, we have good hearts. And a lot of things pull on our heartstrings and want to pull us back, you know, into cycles just because we have a good heart. You know what I mean? And a lot of times it's expected out of us to forgive and overlook and get over things really quickly because of the type of people that we are. But if you know in your heart that you're not doing anything wrong, you didn't do anything wrong, and these people or situations are unhealthy for you, they're toxic, they're affecting your mental health, your well-being, causing you to be depressed, then lean into that and remember it is absolutely okay for you to cut ties. You know, you're getting to the point where continuing these karmic cycles are coming to an end and you're no longer accepting the behavior that you, you once did and you're not just doing it for yourself but you're doing it for your family and your children and the next generation to come because you are the generational curse breaker and you're saying no more i'm not dealing with this anymore i know the type of person that i've been in this situation i know the type of person that i am and i know i didn't do anything wrong so i'm not dealing with it especially when you know the the other person is pretending that they don't know what's going on or that they're confused as to why you would be cutting ties. Trust me, you do not have to waste your time and your energy breaking down and explaining to people what they're doing. They know they're doing it. You know what I mean? And even if they're not completely conscious or aware of the fact that they're acting in karmic energy, or they're that that they're, you know, repeating cycles from your your family lineage, they still know that they're doing stuff that they wouldn't want someone to do to them or that they shouldn't be doing. So it's not something that you have to explain because these people know. You know what I mean? Like, they are the ones who decided to behave in a certain manner toward you when it was not deserved. You know what I mean? And we feel like... We have to have these people in our lives because it's, you know, almost expected of us. But it doesn't matter who they are. Your mother, it's sad to say, <laughs> because, you know, these are the people that you would hope to be a certain type of way towards you. But it's a lot of times it's the people that are in our family that, you know, are in these karmic loops. So your mother, friends, whoever they are, coworker partners, whoever they are, do not feel bad for doing the right thing. You do not have to have a relationship with these people. You know what I mean? If it, even if in societal standards, it's expected of you. You don't have to. And, you know, a lot of times we create chords with these people and the energy that they carry compared to the energy that you carry is just different. And you don't want to have an attachment to someone who is being envious or being jealous or manipulative or controlling, you know? Just all the, the lower level frequencies of thinking. You don't want to be attached to that when you're trying to elevate when, you, when you're ascending because 
that connection and that energy is going to hold you back, especially if there are things that you want to manifest in this realm, especially if there's lessons that you've already overcome. You don't want to go backwards. You know I mean, you've come too far to go backwards to be attached to people that, you know, repeat Saturn, repeat patterns that you've already learned from. You know what I mean? And now is the time that we can manifest what we want because we deserve it. We've learned the lessons. We've been there. We've been through a, a lot of dark situations, a lot of heavy lessons, a lot of hard, you know, trauma, lots, lots of hard trauma that we've had to, you know, transmute and heal from. So now is the time to really focus on, you know, who you are and what you've learned from all your past experiences and know that by, you know, distancing yourself and disconnecting yourself from these types of energies, this is going to bring in your blessings much quicker. The things that you deserve, the things that are rightfully yours, your birthright is going to be given to you because you're no longer attached to these people. And also, too, you have to you know, make space and room for these people to learn their lessons because they're also on their own journey. And with you, you know, enabling them or calling them or holding their hand because, you know, you don't want to hurt someone's feelings or et cetera, et cetera, or whatever it is, or maybe you feel obligated, this is going to, you know, hold them back from learning the lesson that they have to learn because, you know, now that you are distancing yourself, you know, and I said it in the other video, they don't have access to your energy anymore. They can't pull on your energy. They can't siphon your energy. You know what I mean? Now that they're required to sit in their own energy and do the work because that's what they should have done in the first place instead of projecting, you know, the lack thereof within themselves onto you. Now it's their responsibility to actually reflect and, you know, see what it is. And that's probably something that they've never done before and, and, and probably never even been required to do before because these have been the same tactics, you know, the same type of behavior that they've continuously done to other people. And, you know, maybe thought that they could get away with it, but you can't get away with it. You can't. There's going to come to a point where you have to face yourself and they probably were, wasn't expecting that they'll have to face themselves when they met you. But you are the one who comes in and rips the blinders off people's eyes and, you know, speaks the truth, shows the truth. Even when everyone doesn't want to see it, they know it's the truth, but no one wants to say it because it's just been a cycle in a way that everyone has done things. And people have played these roles, pushing things under the rug without anyone ever saying anything, you know what I mean? But not you. You're different. You've been given this gift for a reason. You're not of this world. So you're not going to be of this world. You're not of the matrix. You're not in the matrix. So you don't do things like the matrix does it. And you don't do things the way people expect you to do it. So I know it's hard, but you have to do what you have to do. And at the end of the day, you know, God got you back. And continuously pray that, you know, you will be vindicated. You go to God. You don't take it into your own hands. You know what I mean? You keep it cute. Keep it short. Keep it sweet. And go to God about it. And God will handle it for you. And because of the way you've handled it, handled the situation, you're going to be blessed for it. Trust me. The all sees all. The all knows your position in it. The all knows what was done. The all knows what you did. And the all knows what the other person did so you don't have to explain yourself and you don't have to prove anything because how it's supposed to be and how it's supposed to work out in your favor trust me is going to unfold so you sit back you sit pretty and you you wait for spirit and do the things that you're supposed to be focusing on do the things that you were called to do the things that you're passionate about passionate about the things that God has put on your heart and the reason that you're here to spread the light to uplift others to share your story to help be you know a healer in this realm and show the way and pave the way for a new reality and God will bless you for doing that because if you waste your energy 
focusing on these other people, focusing on being down, focusing on being depressed. You're not going to have the energy to do what it is that you were meant to do in this realm. And that's exactly what they want. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter what face they come in. Like, you know, the movie The Matrix, the Smiths, they come in all forms. It doesn't matter who they are. You have a mission on this planet. And, you know, they know it. So certain things come in your path to distract you. You have to be aware, awaken to the game of what's going on, and stay focused. Call your energy back. Focus on what you have to focus on and know that you're doing the right thing. So I love you. God loves you. God loves you. Until next time, take care of you.